Hey guys, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel once again. Today I'm going to explain you about an interesting electronic device and the most powerful one which we are using nowadays that is about an op amp. This op amp is abbreviated as operational amplifier. It is an IC package that uses external feedback circuit to control its function and it looks like this but inside this op amp you will find a big circuit constructed by using transistors resistors capacitors and a diode etc and the circuit looks like this it really looks mess right don't worry the interesting thing about this op amp is that you can construct various wonderful circuits before understanding the actual configuration of this circuit and by simply understanding the external circuit constructed around this op amp IC. This is cool, right? Okay, but right now you need not to understand and there is no need to understand this big circuit to construct various wonderful circuits, but as an electronic engineer it is your duty to understand how this figure is working out don't worry in my future class i'm going to explain very clearly about these blocks and about the functioning of this circuit now before understanding what is an op amp you should get a clear idea about an amplifier an amplifier is a simple electronic device which increases strength of the signal. What is meant by strength of the signal? Strength of the signal is nothing but the power gain of that signal. where a transformer cannot do that is the major difference between amplifier and a transformer an amplifier can provide power gain for the signal whereas a transformer cannot do and the power gain is simply the product of voltage gain and current gain and the units of power gain are decibels guys if you want to understand clearly what is decibel, please kindly watch one of my YouTube videos where I had clearly explained about this concept. And now, let us thoroughly see an interesting history about op amp. After the invention of transistor in 1948, July 1st, Jack Kilby developed first IC in 1958 while he was working with Fairchild and Bob Widler, one of my favorites and a greatest genius uh, in analog electronics designed first op amp in 1964 and he came up with an op amp package named IC702 whose AOL is almost all thousand it is greatest invention at its time and what is AOL guys if you take an op amp and without considering the external feedback or external circuit of this op amp then the op amp is said to be in open loop mode and the gain of the op amp in the open loop mode is called open loop gain i think you got the point and in the next year 1965 same bob widler came up with another package ic name ic 709 whose aol is almost tall 60000 this is amazing right but that the major disadvantage of this ic package is it is having lack of short circuit protection so in next year dave fulager 
designed an IC that is very well known IC that is MUA 741 which we are using nowadays whose AOL is almost all practically equal to 10 power 6 this is a major achievement in electronic era and it revolutionized our electronic department the major advantage with this IC is this IC had a compensation capacitor inbuilt in it and I am going to explain very clearly what is compensation and why it is done for this op amp very clearly in my future videos but now let me give a small introduction about compensation capacitor this capacitor allows the op amp that is mu 741 to be used without any external circuitry okay guys now let us clearly see what is an op amp generally an op amp is a direct coupled high gain differential amplifier what is meant by direct coupling if you consider an amplifier and the output of first stage of this amplifier is coupled as input to the second stage of the same amplifier then the amplifier is said to be directly coupled so I think you got confused right don't worry we are going to explain very clearly in my future in future videos so now what is the use of this one it permits only signals who are having zero frequency that are nothing but DC and next high gain as I said earlier the practical open loop gain of this op amp is almost all 10 power 6 that is very high and how it is got we I am going to explain within no time and differential amplifier why differential amplifier guys let us see the schematic diagram of an op amp this is plus this is minus and this is the output and two leads coming outside and here are power supplies plus VCC and minus VCC see guys the positive terminal of this op amp is called non-inverting terminal or voltage summing node The negative terminal is called inverting terminal or current summing node. And the interesting thing about this op amp is its output is defined as the product of the open loop gain into differential voltage this is the greatest achievement of this device AOL into let us consider this one as V1 this one as V2 V1 minus V2 see this operational this IC is amplifying the difference between the inputs providing to it so this is why this is called that is why this is called differential amplifier and the important use of this differential amplifier is it is going to provide high gain when two opposite signals are providing as input to it I think you got my point now let us see the input the transfer characteristics of this device transfer characteristics are nothing but it's a graphical representation between input and output of any device so 
for this device if you consider transfer characteristics it is like this it is a graphical ref representation between VD that is difference voltage and V out and the graph is like this this is plus V and this is minus V guys have a glance by this graph you can clearly understand that the operate the operational amplifier is going to switch only between plus V and minus V that are power supplies provided for it to solve any operational amplifier any amplifier problem first point you have to keep in mind that the output of any amplifier should be between the power supplies what you are providing that is it should not excite the power supplies so these voltages plus V and minus V are called saturation voltages the term saturation is applied to any system where levels have reached their maximum values for example uh, a saturated sponge is one that cannot hold another drop of liquid i think you got my point okay okay now let us see some figures which you can commonly face while solving some problems guys if you see a symbol like this it is representing an amplifier if you see a symbol like this it is rep representing an amplifier with an open loop gain of 100 and if you see a symbol like this it is representing an amplifier with open loop gain 100 but the output is in 180 degree phase shift with input these are very important concepts you have to keep in mind now what happens if you give input which is much more greater than power supplies let us take a common voltage like this let it be 5 volt and you had provided the power supply voltage as minus uh, 1 volt and this is the output if you take if you consider the transfer characteristics of this device it is like this one volt C the remaining voltage here is clipped off because you had provided input as 5 volt but you provided power supply as 1 volt so the remaining 4 volt power supply uh, input voltage is clipped off clipping is nothing but distortion so to avoid distortion you have to reduce input so there is a condition provided for an op amp to avoid distortion that is if you consider an op amp with input voltage V in and gain K and output and the power supplies as V plus V and minus V to avoid distortion the main condition is V in should be between should lie between plus V by K and minus V by K this is the major condition provided for an op amp to avoid distortion now let us see some important characteristics of the operational amplifier an op amp is a voltage control voltage source because it is a voltage amplifier so let us see some important characteristics like input resistance let us consider it as R in and output resistance it as R naught 
and open loop gain and slew rate and bandwidth these are major concepts what you have to see before analyzing the op amp as i said earlier i'm going to compare two things one is ideal case and the other is practical case ideally the input resistance of an op amp is very high that is almost all infinite ohm but practically it is 1 giga ohm this is very high and output resistance of an op amp is 0 ohm and practically it is 0.2 ohm guys if you observe these values you can clearly conclude that it is proving my statement that is an op amp is a voltage control voltage source I think you got my point okay gain as I said earlier practically its value is very high that is infinite ohm but practically 10 power 6 I'm sorry 10 power 6 and slew rate guys I'm going to tell you very clearly about slew rate in future class but now let me give a small introduction about slew rate the slew rate of an op amp is very high that is infinite and practically it is 100 volt per microsecond see this value volt per microsecond is representing it is telling us that the op amp is going to switch between 0 to 100 volt within 1 microsecond that much fast it is going to switch between 0 to 100 volt which we cannot see with our naked eye so bandwidth the bandwidth of an op amp is infinite and practically it is 10 radian per second so guys in order to increase bandwidth you should reduce gain this is an interesting concept in operational amplifier in order to increase bandwidth you should reduce gain this is not in our hand but this is in our hand how to reduce gain so if you provide negative feedback to the op amp it will definitely reduce gain so bandwidth increases so this is an interesting concept in operational amplifier and it revolutionized our electronic era guys now let us see the practical and ideal equivalent models of an op amp it is very simple as i said earlier this is the input resistance and an independent source and the output resistance this is ri and this is difference voltage so this as i said earlier this is the input resistance output resistance this is the practical case now let us see ideal case as i said earlier in ideal case the input resistance is very high that is open to and and the output resistance ideal is zero ohm that is short circuit this is the ideal case of an op amp guys in my next lecture i am going to explain about an interesting and very useful topic that is about feedback and i am going to tell you a small interesting history about that feedback please don't miss that class and go and find some more interesting videos in my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching